Hey, welcome back to After the Episode, brought to you by Line Cutters, the adjustable ring that cuts fish in line. Shut that hole Are you rolling or not? I am. Okay, I figured. <laughs> Talking smack when the camera's rolling, but it's not rolling, she goes quiet. So oh, happened. believe me. Hey, welcome back to After the Episode. I'm your host, Ty, and this is my co-host, Stella. Stephanie. Tammy, Teresa. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Never can't get it right. No, I'm not gonna do after the episode with you anymore. Well, schooling Spanish. That's what yeah. we're talking about. How'd y'all like that? First BTB of the year. We we haven't been able to get off the beach. It's been rough. Mm -hmm. It's rough today. It was rough the day after that. Yes. It it's was, just been cold. It was front. a little bitty window. We didn't even check Tiny the weather window. the night before. We woke up at 7 a.m. I opened Windfinder in bed, and I'm like, oh my god. It's slick. It's dead calm. Ran out and it lasted maybe till lunch and then it picked back up and it's yep. been raging ever since. But we... In that little bitty window. When we can find these windows, we got to take it, so... And the Spanish were everywhere underneath the kayaks. I mean, that little clip that you did, was, there were Spanish everywhere. everywhere. It was like having them in the swimming pool. You oh, look yeah. down and they were just so all neat. over. You see the bottom. So neat. Yeah. Um, so we had calm seas finally. Launched. Wish we had prepared. We launched at Fort Pickens. That's called Langdon Beach. And yes. if you're going to the 30 mile out camp out, you're going to see that, that parking lot right across the street from where y'all are camping. Little side note, we've created an event on Facebook on 30 miles out for the camp out so people can talk back and forth. I think we're sharing now our campsite with somebody. Yes, we're sharing. We're, uh, I still need to I check and make can, sure that's cool. but. I think you can put I think one you in can. one tent. I think you can. I think you do two tents in one spot. So. Yeah, Wendy will sleep in the car. He'll sleep in the tent. And they'll never know. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, we talked a little bit about how physical BTB is. A lot of people want to go off the beach with us. We're in our 40s. Um, you know, I see a lot of 20-year-olds knocking it out Barreling pretty easy. Barreling like it ain't nothing. But it still takes the breath away. I mean, it's still dragging through that white powder sand is tough. I think... It's like anything. The more you do it, the more, more you do it, the stronger you get. The stronger you are. But the reason I'm addressing is because people come from Kentucky and they want to go BTB for the first time, and I just want to make sure everybody understands understands that you know, hey man, you you might want to walk a little bit or do a little cardio. Better um, do more than that. You're yeah, because sometimes we've taken same. people and it, it almost kills them because they don't expect how rigorous it is. It's a lot to drag through the sand, drag out the sand, paddle around with current in the Gulf. So fight big fish it's it's a, it's, it's a rough day you, you acclimate to it but it's rough it's a blast though. but it's it's worth every ounce of energy oh, yeah. exerted yes um we like we like it when it's flat calm like it oh, was oh it was too when we when we were launching it was just so what was doing the trick what were we catching the fish on um those this epoxy right, jigs right here, you might want to take that up there and, and just take the jig up there, and I'll talk about it. How about right. that? Get on up there, boy. Get up there. Y'all. That is the uh, the standard issue uh, epoxy jig by Hoagie. And, and uh, they are heavy. They've got... Those we were throwing had treble hooks, though. Yeah, they've got the VMC size 4 treble hook, um, the stainless split ring. And they're super heavy, and they're super flashy. So of course they were hitting them, but what the problem was we were getting cut off. Like we were getting cut off way up the line times. too. People say steel leader, steel leader, uh, steel leader, steel leader will cuts down on the amount of hits you get, but it doesn't st stop them from cutting up higher. And I'd rather lose a couple of lures and get hit after hit every cast Which than. You did. Then you know, save a couple lures by using steel. So, um, but y'all talking about walking the beach, you can oh, throw yeah. this a country mile off the beach and it catches everything. So, once again, walking the beach, heavy, flashy, always the key. After I got caught off twice and lost two epoxy jigs, I didn't feel comfortable putting them back on anymore. So, I switched to the uh, Johnson splinter. splinter. Yeah. And it did the trick. I mean, you just had to run it across the top really fast because that's where they wanted everything. Yeah. I tried top water. You tried top water. Yeah, you water. try throwing a top water plug. They won't Nothing. touch it because it's not the size of a glass metal. Mm -hmm. They want something small that is glass metal flashy in size, and then they'll go after it. But a plug, fast. they're like, well, that's way too big. I ain't feeding on that. Mm -hmm. We've been eating glass metals for months now. Yeah. All, All right. right, so the epoxy jigs work very well. Um, 
big schools of Spanish everywhere. We, we caught about 20, 25. I lost um, three of those epoxy jigs. How many did you lose? Two, so we lost a total two. of five. Yeah. So. yeah, we lost five, but I've got something in development right now I'm gonna release to y'all, and some of y'all on Facebook have seen it. It's been, he's been going crazy. I'm developing my own <laughs> If you're following Facebook and Instagram, you know spec, how much he's spec, been doing. I mean, um, Spanish slash Little Toonie Bonita lure that you can just replace with cheap stuff out the kitchen. Yeah. So I'll get onto that when, when, when we actually try it. So the limit on those, I think, is like 15 a day. 15 a day, and it have to be 12 inches? It's really small. I think it's 12. I think 12. So yeah. we weren't taking any for ourselves that day, so I think we kept like five or six for Coach uh, yeah. and gave them to him. Yeah, he yeah our son's soccer coach loves Spanish, so we brought he him He loves some. fish, so <clears throat> we, we wanted to give, pay uh, it forward and give him a little bit of fish. The cobia boats were everywhere. Oh God, yeah. And they're staying within a few hundred yards of the beach, and they're just running up and oh, down the beach, just man. dozens and dozens oh, of them. Mm -hmm. And you saw that one get kind of close. It kind of made me mad because we were fishing there, and he just come barreling through. They don't care. Or she did. Woman she drivers. She's a woman driver. They don't care. We're just a little low plastic boats. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the rod and reels we were throwing that day. We beefed it up because we were going BTB. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is what I was throwing. Look this is there. A, the splinter is still on there. Yeah, it sure Look is. At that. This is a pin battle two combo. This is an all-in-one deal. I think these are like 130, 140 maybe. Maybe I said too much. Between one and 150 somewhere, and it comes with a 3,000. I think I have 15 or 20 pound braid. And this sucker, I wouldn't throw it on the flats all day because it's heavy compared to our ultralight stuff. But offshore, this would be considered a lightweight rig, and I'll throw it as much as I have to to get that Spanish bite. You could actually troll for kings for this if you had to. It's got enough backbone. Pin battle too. Amazing combo, especially for BTB. Yeah, I got. I had the what hot rod throwing? and the uh, fierce. So Teresa was throwing the McCain hot rod. I use it a which lot. Which is a bass rod. It's a really stiff bass rod. It's seven and seven three. I use it for bull rigs under two. the bridge. It's long. We, yeah. we use it for walking the beach too because we can sling it yes. really far. I use it for everything. But it, it doesn't have any tip on it. I mean, this thing's stout from butt to tip. So we use, usually use larger stuff. This is a heavy cast master. Mm -hmm. She was throwing and catching them with. Mm -hmm. Pin Fierce 2 with 20 pound braid. And um, I had, for my big guns, you know, this is what I normally troll on BTB. And this is just a pin, once again, battle two combo, but in a 5,000 with 30 pound braid. Spider wire, blue stealth camo. And uh, we use these, we troll for everything. This is your kingfish, this is your cobia, this is your sailfish, tuna fish, whatever's out there. That's what we troll. And even sight cast offshore if uh, cobia were to cruise by. Mm -hmm. And for backup, for throwing long range, I was using the cane. Tommy Mart series. This is another bass rod, but this is a really stiff cover, you know, deep cover rod for bass. But I can sling these a country mile. They have a lot of backbone. And I was throwing these long range for the Spanish, and I'd actually use these for those little tuny in the vids from last summer. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the rods. Yep. That's pretty yeah. much it. We can't wait to get back out there. You're working on your nice little Spanish rigs for the next time we go out there. Yes. Follow Facebook and Instagram because he's he's we're going to Lowe's again. Hot tomorrow. on it. I'm hot on it, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna find out a cheap way to catch these these special. I'm really little toonies on the brain, false albacore. Yeah, he's been because after uh, those, those suckers since last fight year. and they're just everywhere in the summertime like mm -hmm. bees. Yeah, they're fun. I haven't caught one yet. I so don't much think. Fun. I think maybe I did. I don't and know. And they're finicky. They, they are. hit so. You can throw that spoon. You think the spoon's perfect? They won't touch it. For every hundred casts, I hook one. On, on a little spoon, you think, oh, that's glass mitten. No, but I think I'm on to them. <laughs> Anything else we need to cover before we say goodbye? That's it. Stay tuned next week for some uh, inshore fishing, I think. Yep, we're going to do some inshore stuff. And as soon as we get a window, we're going back off that beach. You can count on it. Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, I think, is the next one. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time right here on After the Episode. What?